Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about an alternative way of um, self-cursing yourself with temporal chains with maximum effect. This way requires by far the least investment as well as no uniques uh, and is also extremely bugged. I had actually made a video on this uh, uh, yesterday, but I realized that uh, a lot of the information in that video doesn't actually uh, is already outdated because this interaction is more bugged and more powerful than I had initially thought it was. So um, let's get started. The, uh, the general meat and bones of how this interaction works is quite simple. You basically need to put a temporal chains on a blasphemy and you need to reduce the area of effect modifier of temporal chains to minus 100% or less. Uh, right now it's at minus 38 because I have 100% reduced area of effect of hex skills. That's because um, I have increased area of effect on my tree. You can see here I've got it um, and also I've got it on this aura notable. Um, it's actually quite annoying if you don't want to take area of effect you really have to avoid this increased area of effect mod. The only way to get it is you can get it on this cluster here which has no AoE. You can get these two small passes but you can't take the big notable. And down here you can do some fancy stuff with our natural instinct or intuitive leap to avoid this particular notable if you want access to the mastery. Um, now what I'm doing instead is I'm just equipping a second ring, right? Um, and if you'd seen the previous video, which none of you will have, um, you'll, you'll, you'll remember this is the ring that I said you needed to get. You needed increased effective curses on you and reduced area effective hex skills. Um, you don't actually need that, but for now, let's just work with this. Uh, this puts out skill area of, effect, area of effect modifier to below minus 100%. So when I cast Blasphemy, I end up cursing myself. You'll also note that the Blasphemy aura doesn't seem to show, um, which is just another, just a weird, weird, just some weirdness. And you'll see now if I drink a pot, um, I'm going to time it with Heart Supper. The, you'll see that basically one tick of this flask is going to equal four ticks of heart stopper. Now, this is pretty much already covered in my last video, but what I realized is that in the last video I said you needed the increased effect of curses on you combined with the 96% increased curse effect to get you to the maximum effect of temporal chains. That's not true. Um, and in the description I actually did a little bit of math and I realized that nothing adds up. See, theoretically, if we take this 1.96 curse effect modifier and multiply it by 1.62, which is the increased effect of curses on you, we get a curse effect multiplier, an overall curse effect multiplier of 3.1752, which means that we should only be getting around a 62% slower expiry rate on our curses, not 75%. But we, we've got 75%. So what's going on? Um, for those of you who don't know, to get maximum, um, to get the maximum value of temp chains, you need to get 75%. So this number here uh, needs to be, instead of 40% slower, it needs to become 75% slower. And um, to do that, you need 275% increased curse effect for an overall 3.75 multiplier to your curse. Now, that's not what we have. Uh, and that's basically because 40% slower with 50% less effective curse against players means it's 20% times 3.75, which gets you to 75. But what we have is 20% times 1.96 times 1.62, which gives us 62. That's much lower than what we're supposed to be getting. And um, I realized that the reason this is happening is just because we're not getting 50% less effective curse against players. For whatever reason, when you self-curse yourself with reduced area of effect, you get the full 40% expiry rate bonus. Um, and the best way I can show this, I don't actually have another one of these rings. So I have a failed attempt at making this ring down here, which gives me reduced effective curses on me. And so 66 reduced effect plus 62% increased effect means that overall I have 4% reduced effective curses on me. Now, if I drink another potion, a flask, sorry, two, one, bang, you'll see that I still have max effect of temp chains, even though I basically have just the 96% curse effect modifier. And that basically backs up what we're, um, what I'm saying. When you self curse yourself this way, you natively get 40% slower expiry rate. So you only need 88% curse effect to actually get over, get to 75% expiry rate. That's all you need. And you can get 88% curse effect by just 
not even having the enhanced support. I have the enhanced support because um, I have 4% reduced effective curses on me and I've tested it and it's not quite four times um, slower. So I have the enhanced, but you don't need the enhanced. If you just have two of this ring or one of this ring, if you don't have area of effect anywhere else on your trio or in your gear, um, then this ring plus 23% quality temp chains plus 23% quality blasphemy plus 66 from the helmet, that's it. That's all you need. Um, but you can use enhance or you can use curse effect on the tree or on your other gear to sort of get over that hurdle if you don't quite have perfect rolls. I don't know. Um, and if you're worried about enhance taking up, like making this a larger reservation, um, the curse effect stays on after you take off the reservation. I don't, like, no matter how many times I press this now, um, I'm not reserving mana anymore. But I'm still cursed with temp chains. I'm going to drink another flask. You can see I'm still cursed with temp chains. I still have my flask on for nearly 40 seconds. So the, the, the interaction is quite bugged. Uh, it's very powerful. Like you can, you can self curse temp chains yourself with literally like, if you have this ring and no helmet, this is also max effect temp chains. Um, it's literally just the ring and these three gems and a second ring if you have area effect on your tree. So you have many ways to play around with this setup. You can either just use 200% or 100% reduced area of effect plus 90 plus 88% from your gear or on the tree, or you can use increased effect of curses on you and then you barely need any increased curse effect at all. Like, um, so yeah. Uh, the downsides is that if you use this ring, obviously other effect, other curses are stronger. Uh, you also, the Blasphemy Aura has no radius, so you can't curse anyone else with Temporal Chains. Um, and actually, any self-cast curse skills will have no area of effect unless you somehow tack it on. But you can just use Hex Touch instead, and, and it'll work fine. So uh, that's basically the build. Sorry, not the build, but the interaction. It's super bugged. It's probably not making it uh, past the end of this league. But I thought I'd share it, and it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it.